Okay, so I have my dust shoe with the hose hooked up to it. For now, it's hooked up to my shop vac. I need to run some plumbing and stuff. But for now, this will be a good test. I have not run it yet, so this is raw, I guess. Reality TV. Yeah. So one of the things I did designed it for was to be clear so I could see inside. I'm going to zoom in here for you and you can see I can actually, can you see the X that I marked on there, marking center? I was able, it's hard to tell, it's actually a lot darker on the camera than it is in life. Um, but one of the things I may end up doing is putting um, a line, lining LEDs around this somehow so that it will brighten the area if need be. Right now, I can see that I can see just fine, so there's no problem there. Um, but I figured I'd show you being clear, very helpful. Let's hope it stays that way with uh, with use and uh, a pile of dust around it. So right now I have. That is my zero spot. Um, my X and the Y are zero. The Z is up a little bit for now, but what I'm going to try, try to do is perform a few random things, like a plunge just straight in, you know, slowly. Um, and then I'm going to try to do some surfacing and see how it does there. Um, and then I'll make deeper and deeper cuts. And then I'm going to try doing a slot because a slot is one of those that piles sawdust pretty badly. So. Just going to give it a few tests. I'm going to run the machine manually because I really didn't think about what programs I should start with this. So for now, it's just going to be by hand. You may witness a crash. Who knows? But, you know, here it is. First dust collection test. Uh, first time I'll have seen it as well. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. Um, let me get some uh, hearing protection. I've lost my earphones. Where are my earphones? For the moment, you're going to watch me figure out where the heck I put my ear. So it's going to get a little loud. <clears throat> Apologies in advance. But here it is, dust collection test number one. So, first I did a drill or a plunge straight down. I went down three-eighths of an inch. I first went an eighth and saw what it did. Then I went another quarter because I figure it may get worse the deeper you go. But it pulled everything out. The bit is, um, <clears throat> the bit is a spiral upcut carbide two-flute uh, bit. <clears throat> the next thing I did was I just moved X an inch, Y an inch, was X back to zero and Y back to zero. I did that a couple of times and it seemed to work okay. That was kind of troughs. Um, and then I loaded up a surfacing program that I did for some of the aluminum blocks. And it does like a two inch by three inch surface. Um, so far, I'm not seeing any dust. So, and that, uh, the, the pocket that I made there, that surfacing thing, was at an eighth of an inch depth. Um, I'm going to play around a little bit more and see what else we can get it to do. So, I can show you this here, I'll pull back out, I don't know if you can see it yet, but you see the fines, the dust, there's a, there's a fair bit of dust around. It's better than without, here you go, my remote e-stop is coated with it, pretty bad. Um, so. It's, it's improved, but it's not good enough. And I'm gonna, I'm guessing, I think, it might be due to the bit. The bit is a, a upcut, and it might be pulling the chips up too fast. So I think I'm 
first easy test I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to a straight bit and see how well it does. I don't have any down cut bits, but... And I guess it also doesn't help that it's a half inch bit when most of the time I probably won't be using a half inch bit. Um, I figured I'd try it with the worst I could think of um, and then see where it goes. Um, so I'm going to... I'm going to clean this up and then switch to a straight bit and see what kind of different results we get. Um, so we'll be right back. All right, so now I've got a straight cutting bit. It's still a half inch bit. It's still the same MDF. I figure incremental change, so we'll see what happens next. Um, more noise. Okay, so it was better for sure. It was definitely better. It's still not great. There's still dust all over the place, but it's it's definitely something with the bit helps has has the bit has an impact. Um, what I might do there's a couple of ideas I've got bouncing around my head. I'm gonna I, I may I may make the holes at the bottom. So let's zoom in here. So the two holes there where the bit pops through, the top hole is big enough for basically the uh, the router bit and the collet nut to pass. Oops, sorry about that. The top hole is big enough for both the collet nut and things to pass through, plus a little bit of airflow. Um, but the bottom hole is bigger, though I'm considering maybe making that even bigger than it is. Um, possibly teardrop shaped, so it kind of leads the dust. Let's see, maybe I can do it this way. Possibly teardrop shaped, so it's pointed towards, kind of towards the collector, so towards the hose, so that it could be maybe more directed that direction, or more directed that way toward the suction. Um, I'm also considering a uh, sleeve of sorts that can go around the router um, somehow and not uh, not impede the up and down motion of the Z but maybe a skirt something to sort of help contain that dust just a little bit longer to let the suction catch it. Um, all in all I think it's a fairly decent test It is, um, it is performing fairly well, I would say. I can't say I'm, I'm satisfied, but it's miles above not having anything. Okay, so I've raised it about twice as high, because I think maybe there just needs a little more airflow there or something. I don't know, I'm just experimenting here at this point. So, still have the straight bit in it. We're going to run around and do the same kind of stuff here and see what it gets. So, a half inch off the table or off the work. I don't I don't I can't say it was worse, but I definitely can say it was not better. I think it might have been marginally worse. So, the nearer was better. Um, I think I'm going to try a larger hole. Maybe I may just take that bottom piece off completely and see what it does. I have a feeling that will be really bad. It won't work very well at all, but I'll try a larger hole maybe, see what does, see what that does. But uh, still vast improvement over what it was without, obviously. Um, we'll dial it in. Could just be that a half inch bit is too much for it. I did notice when I got down into this trough, there's still some flour down in here left behind. So it does get worse when you go deeper. Um, on pockets though, it seemed okay because, well, I think on a theory is that it goes over the area multiple times. So there's enough time for it to really pull up the dust in the pockets. I'm also seeing a fair amount of cloud kicked up when it's running. So it's not as bad as it was, but there's still the cloud um, so I, 
back to some drawing board, maybe some, some experiments here, but that is what we have. So, dust shoe, mostly successful. I'm definitely going to use it until I have a solution. Until I have it improved, anyway. So, thanks for watching.